What's up guys, welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. In this video, we're gonna use Lightroom and Photoshop to get perfectly focus stacked images. Now, generally when you focus stack images, it's because you cannot get everything sharp from front to back. If you're shooting something really close to your lens, there's just no way. Even at like f16, you can't get everything in focus. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys my technique for focus stacking images. So. Let's hit five minutes on the clock and let's jump on the computer. Now, this image was taken in New Mexico in the Badlands here and you can see I am really close to this foreground little, uh, call it a broken egg, it's a broken alien egg is what we call it. So you can see here that I've uh, got it perfectly sharp here, but if you look at the background, you can see both my wife and the background are not sharp. There's just no way that would be possible for this photo to be absolutely sharp from front to back. So we have the focus stack. Now what I've done here is I've taken three images. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a before and after here. So this is after I've edited it. Uh, I'm not gonna get into how I edited this, but um, I just wanna show you guys here now. I've taken three shots. One right here for the foreground. One, I put another focus point here on the background, and then one focus point, and uh, this very end focus point, I put it right over the edge of this mountain here. Because it's really nice and contrasty, uh, you got the bright sky and you got the dark mountain here in the background, so it's uh, easy for the camera to find focus. You know, it's pretty low light. And so each one you can see here, this third image, if you look back here, you can see it's very sharp. So once I've edited that first photo, I'm gonna hold down shift, click on this last image so they're all highlighted, hit sync, and then make sure that everything is checked inside of here. Just hit check all and then synchronize. Now when focus stacking, for me, the more focus points, the better. In this scene here, because I'm using such a wide angle, if you look up here, I'm at 14 millimeters, F11. So I'm using a narrow aperture to get the most depth of field, um, but I'm also at 14 millimeters, so I don't need too many. Now this can change quite a bit. At the end of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys an image where I took 10 different shots, focused at 10 different points, and you can use your autofocus, you can use manual focus, it doesn't matter, whatever your preferred method is. Uh, also, on like my Nikon Z6 or my D850, which this was taken on the D850, I have a focus stacking feature, uh, it's called focus shift, where I can just set my camera up, focus on the closest point first, and then just hit my focus shift and it takes a bunch of photos automatically. Uh, either way, whatever your method is, I always start at the very beginning, focus on that closest point, and then move your focus points back from there. All right, so with these highlighted now, I'm gonna right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, now that we're in Photoshop here, if we look, you can see that each time I take a shot, you can see it just zoom in just a little bit. That's what happens when you focus at different points. There actually is a little bit of a shift. And so we need to align those layers. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that top layer is selected. I'm gonna hold down shift, click on the bottom layer so they're all highlighted, edit, auto align layers. And I'm just gonna leave it on auto under projection. That's what I always leave it on. It's the easiest, it works every single time. So I'm gonna hit okay. All right, now that that's all done, we're gonna zoom in here and you can see now when I click on all of these, it doesn't move at all. So there's no more shift. Facebook. Photoshop has aligned all the layers really well. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna go back up with these layers still highlighted. We're gonna go back up to edit gonna come down to auto blend layers. And we're gonna come to where it says stacked images, make sure that that box is checked. Uh, seamless tones and colors, content aware fill, transparent areas are all checked and just gonna hit okay. All right, now that it's worked, it's magic, it usually takes a couple of minutes. You can see here, if I hit command D, uh, zoom in here and you can see now that everything is sharp from front to back. And my wife has two heads. When it blended the images together, you can see that, uh, you know, one of the ones where she was looking at her camera, she's standing up. So what I would probably do is just clone stamp that out. Now the edges over here, you can see there's a little bit of fuzziness here. 
So what I would probably do with that is I would just crop it in. So I'd come up here to original, uh, zoom out, and then I would just, just crop those edges a little bit because it just gave it a little bit of fuzziness. That's pretty much it. So that would be it, guys. That's all. Now, again, I want to stress the more focus points, the better. And I told you guys before I was going to show you guys another image where I did 10 different focus points. And you can see here why. There is so much detail in this cactus that you there's no possible way you could get everything in focus and I've tried doing just one or two or three focus points in images like this and there's always lots of blurriness and Photoshop has a hard time with all of this detail. So I did 10 different ones for this, 10 different images for this because it just, the more images, the better. The more images and the more information you can give Photoshop, the better. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much. And like always, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more 5-Minute Fridays. Also, every Monday morning, we release our normal vlogs. These are our, more of our behind-the-scenes trips. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.